Hey guys, what's going on? Today I'm going to show you how to fix or at least improve the panel gap in your frunk. All right, so I don't know if you'll be able to tell from this angle, but I can tell as I'm walking up to my car, my frunk on this side, the hood part uh, right here is just a little bit below the nose here. And if I go over to this side, the hood's actually a little bit above it. So when I run run my finger up it, it gets stuck right there. Whereas here, it just falls right over the side. So yeah, you should be able to see it there. On the left, it's kind of dipping down a little bit. And on the right, it's just a little bit higher. You can kind of see into the frunk. Whereas on the left, you can't see into it. So if you look here, we're on the inside of the frunk. I guess let me back up and show you. So here's the frunk. And if you come up to it on the each corner here, there is this little foot that you can see. Let me actually grab my tripod. Okay, so now I got two hands. If you look here, you can see this foot that's right here. And this is actually adjustable. I never realized this, but if you untwist it, you can make this higher so that this part of the trunk will stick out more. Or if you want to tighten it, now of course this part of the the hood, I should say, I said trunk, this part of the hood will now go down lower. So I'm going to adjust these and see if I can even out that panel gap. I'm using Stephanie's phone to pop the frunk in between uh, after I check it every time. Actually in the process of a software update right now. Okay, so here's what I'm seeing. I don't think from your perspective you can probably tell. Um, I mean, I do see that this looks a little closer then where's my hand uh, then over here um, this looks like a bigger gap on the right than on the left um, so i'm closing it and i'm just kind of feeling this one's definitely up higher than this one and you can see down here this is where those little rubber feet connect um, that's where they rest bring this down you can't see but i'm going to screw this in a little tighter and I noticed that the rubber stopper on the right is a lot um, tighter, a lot harder to screw in than on the left. Yeah, so this side is still up higher, and I don't think that screwing that in anymore is going to do anything. So what I'm going to do to even it out is I'm just going to make this one, make the left side taller. You can actually just take these out too. I don't know why you'd want to. Maybe there will be some aftermarket parts we can get to replace these. And then you just screw it back in like that. So I'll make that one pretty tall. See, this one's a little wobbly. The one on the left here doesn't move at all. No, no wobble to it. And, and even though it's in this far, I mean, I can put it in a little more. Um, the right side is still higher up. So let's try that. Uh, left side is about as tall as it can be. Now this one is not below the line of the front bumper. It's actually pretty flush with it. So here's the after. I don't know how obvious it is, um, but it is much better than it was before. Again, the right side is still a little elevated, um, but if I do the same thing here, you can see it is elevated there. But when I go over here, this is not, it does kind of get caught there. It's not flying over and kind of falling down. This is perfectly level. 